arguably the best ultra running trail shoe money can buy. Let's have a look at the Hoka One One Speed Goat 3s. I've been wearing Hoka's for a number of years now. I started off with the ACR 3s. Unfortunately, the sole of those shredded very easily on the volcanoes of La Palma. So I moved on to the Speedgoat 2s. Now, the original Speedgoat 2s had a little cutaway in the plastic edging around the toe, and they shredded really easily. The sole wasn't too bad, but the upper mesh disintegrated in a very short time indeed. So they came out with the Hoka Speedgoat 2 version. Version 2. Now this is the Hoka Speedgoat 2 version 2. Much, much better. No shredding because they've got rid of the cutaway in the plastic edging around the toe there. These have lasted very well. Let's see if the Speedgoat 3s are any different to the Speedgoat 2 version 2. So introducing the Hoka Speed Goat 3, I've run well over 350 miles in these shoes, so I have done a fair bit in them. They've had to cope with the uh, cliffs on the coast of Guernsey. They've had to cope with the winter trail running around the coast of Cornwall on some very gnarly terrain on the Arc of Attrition. Uh, they've been on the North Downs Way, the South Downs Way, the Thames Path. Uh, but the most difficult race they've had to cope with was the Blue Trail 100K on the volcano of Tiede or Tade or Teed in uh, Tenerife. Uh, that is a really gnarly bit of terrain uh, and they've coped very well I have to say. Looking at the shoe you can see there's nothing major wrong with them after 350 miles. In terms of styling, they're very similar to the Speed Goat 2 version 2. Uh, there are some garish colours available for you to buy. I'm quite happy with my green and black ones. Uh, they do have the uh, plastic edging around the toes um, and some plastic banding here uh, and the mesh upper. The uh, tongue is possibly a bit thicker than the Speed Goat 2, a little bit more comfortable perhaps. Uh, you've got the hook at the back, which is the same as the Speed Goat 2, um, and you've got this mesh massive stack which is a classic hoka if you uh, if you want some shoes that are not going to let you feel the terrain underneath get yourself some hokas if you want to feel what you're running on don't buy these you you're not going to feel a thing under here the only difference I can see really is that there's a Speedgoat logo here that you don't have on the Speedgoat 3 there. At least I can't see it. No, it's definitely not there. Uh, that's the only real difference that I can see in terms of styling and look. When we talk about durability of a shoe, we do talk about the upper and that was a problem with earlier versions of the Speedgoat. However, what we mainly look for is wear and tear on the sole of the shoe. Now, I have to be honest, yes, I've had these shoes for 350 miles, so there is quite a lot of wear now on the grip. However, there's no shredding, no ripping on the, uh, the, on the lugs there. You can see that they've done a lot of miles, but they haven't disintegrated. And that's the main thing that you want really I probably need to change these and get some new ones uh, they've lasted very well indeed for 350 miles and I'm very happy with the durability of the sole and certainly the upper you can see there's a little bit of kind of fraying around the edge of the sole here uh, but that is really it nothing else to speak of the lip isn't coming away uh, the, the back isn't coming away they are absolutely solid durability wise 10 out of 10 if I'm going to point out a couple of negatives, uh, some people think that the uh, width of the shoe is a little bit thin. Now, I've got fairly normal sized feet, I would say, and they're absolutely fine for me. Um, I do usually get a size bigger. Uh, so these are an 11 as opposed to my shoe size, which is 10. But I have found them to be very comfortable. And so the width has not been an issue for me. But try them. You know, I don't know your shoe size. I don't know your foot. Uh, you're going to have to put them on and see for yourself. And the only other thing is they are a weighty shoe. These are definitely heavy, even heavier, I think, than the Speed Goat 2s. Obviously, there'll be stats on the website. I'll try and pick them off for you. But when I hold them in my hand, the Speed Goat 3 is heavier than the Speed Goat 2 version 2. So those possibly, you could argue, are a couple of negatives. But in terms of performance, you have to bear in mind that this is a long distance trail shoe. So the weight of the shoe is going to be offset by the comfort you feel over long distance. If you want a short distance shoe, you might want something 
lighter. Go and see my review of the Hoka Torrents. They are a light trail shoe meant for running, you know, if you want to do a sub three trail marathon, go and buy the Hoka Torrents and you will tell the difference with the lightness of the shoe. You'll feel the lightness of the shoe over that distance. The weight of this shoe will not bother you over 100 miles because you're not trying to gun it at a sub three marathon pace speed. <laughs> So in terms of performance, you'll want to wear these shoes for long distance races. A marathon is not a long distance race in terms of a shoe like this. In terms of price, you're looking at a comparable price to most other elite high performance trail shoes. So 140, 150 US dollars, 125, 130 UK pounds. And I'm very happy with that price. I'm very happy to pay that price for a shoe like this. And especially having used it now, happy with the performance, happy with the durability. So therefore the price becomes negligible really. And that is it for my review of the Hoka One One Speed Goat 3s. Arguably the best ultra running trail shoe that money can buy. Go and try a pair on if you haven't already. I don't think you'll be disappointed. They've lasted me really well. I'm really pleased with them. Um, Please go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the Speed Goat 3s. And I'll see you again for another review or another race, another ultra, another marathon, another crazy adventure next time. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.